Okay guys, in this tutorial, how do you install the audio driver in Windows 11 PC? Whether it's a desktop or laptop, whichever brand you are using, not a problem. Just follow the tutorial. You can follow the tutorial even for the older version of Windows or elder version of Windows. Now, the very first thing that you can do is, there must be a this PC or a my computer. Give a right click on it and search for manage. If you do not find, here's some more options and here's the manage. When you click on this, uh, manage, it will come up with this window. Once this window pops up, you're going to click on device manager and then do not forget to click on SKDON. After clicking on SKDON, it's my PC name. So when you do this, this is so drop down icons. It's all the drivers. So make sure you click on your PC name. Say you might be different from SKDON. It's the name of the PC I've given to my PC. So your PC name might be different uh, from this. So click on your PC names on the top and then click on accents and click on, uh, here's the accents and then click on add legacy hardware. It will come up this wizard, click on next, search and install the hardware automatically recommended. So you're gonna choose these options, click on next and click on next. So what kind of driver you want? So you are looking for a, sound driver so come down and you're gonna here is sound video and game controller select that click on next now see here you have a, a usb audio oem device type so what kind of driver you are looking looking for see the manufacturer name and model see so whatever problems you have so uh, which about product you are using right now whatever driver you are looking for. So according to the, even if it is mentioned over here, it's a display audio drivers, it's a display audio driver. So you have a problem with uh, display audio. Uh, you have a problem with uh, uh, something like ACX, it's a high definition audio you can install from here. So I'll go with the Realtex because currently I'm using a, uh, I have in my PC, this is a Realtek, Realtek audio driver I want to install. Uh, so you want to select the versions. See, the latest version is this one. So always install the latest versions, digital sign in, and click on next, and you can see hardware to install. Click on next, and you can see it is installing now. Okay, now we're gonna finish it. So it has been successfully installed. It's a real tech audio. You can see the yellow triangle over here. Give a right click on it. Click on properties. It's something like code 10 error. Uh, this device do not work. So real take audio. So I'll uninstall it. Okay, so done. Again, I'll select this one, my PC name, go to accents. When you click on add drivers, you have to manually, if you have downloaded it from somewhere, you are gonna browse it and install it. So if you have downloaded it from the internet somewhere, so it's very easy, go to the Google search, you're gonna type your PC version name or CPC mode. Let's say I, my PC name is uh, Dell G7. So I'm gonna search for Dell G7 audio driver. Go to the manufacturer site and you can download the audio driver for Dell G7 and you can Click on add drivers and browse for the drivers and install it manually. So in whatever location uh, you're going to uh, click on browse driver and wherever it, if it is in a download folder, in whatever folder it is, you're going to show the locations and exactly you're going to click on next, next and you can install that drivers. Since we are downloading the legacy driver, uh, again, I'll go to the legacy one, click on next, click on next, click on next. So here I have a number of drivers. When you, you want uh, for the camera, uh, you want for, for the display adapters, you can install it. It's not a problem. It's a Motorola USB device. So currently I'm going with this uh, sound. Let me see if there is any audio driver. Okay, here's the audio drivers. A stand, since it is in alphabetical order, it's very easy to find. So I'll go with the sound video game control. I'm going to install another one. So this time I'll be installing from the Intel Corp. So it's uh, Microsoft. 
the legacy driver i'm going to use high definitions audio settings okay ac accessory audio drivers click on next click on next Okay, click on finish. The software device may, but may not work correctly. Device cannot score 10 error. Finish. Same problem with this device also. It might work. Click on update drivers, search automatically, and click on close. A scan for the hardware change. Okay, done. So this is the way you can install the drivers, the legacy driver. So it's a two conditions. It might work and it might not work for you. So currently it was only to show you how to install the legacy driver. Uh, I'll be uninstalling it. Uh, see, ADB interface, it has a low triangle, but it is working for me in this PC. Uh, see, in the same way, uh, even if it shows the value triangle like this, it might work in your PC. If it do not work, you can uninstall it and manually download from the internet and install it. It's very easy to download and install manually from internet. As I've guided you, the simple and easy steps. Download from the manufacturer site and then go to Actions, click on. Sorry, at first, you want to select your PC names, go to Actions and then click on Add Drivers and then manually you can install the driver. If you like this tutorial, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another greatest star. Have a good day.